Oh shit, hey, what's going on YouTube? Been like crawling back up in this piece with another episode of A Demented Corner. Man, we have a great episode this time. Oh man, they're all awesome, right? Check me out. I'm just kidding. Man, had so many awesome gifts from friends. If it wasn't for YouTube, Facebook, social media, I would have never ever have met these cool cats. Now, these acquaintances have become best friends, basically. I talk to them on a daily basis. Love them, man. They're part of my family now. So without further ado, let's get on with what I picked up first. Did pick up the Demon's Rook. Yes, better late to the party than not show up at all. You know what I'm talking about? And this is a damn good fucking movie. I wouldn't, I don't know, man. A lot of people say it's a throwback to the 80s, but I really didn't feel any kind of 80s vibe. I did enjoy the story. Um... Uh, just the the colors you know like the italian vibe to it and also the gore which was fantastic and um i didn't pick up really too much cheese on it there is a bit but i man i had a whole nother experience and it was a positive one really enjoyed it also the uh the short film included uh goat witch was fucking fantastic man highly recommend you guys pick it up if you have it like i said i'm late to the party Next up, it's an Asian flick from Japan, Crazy Lips. Now, I'm only 30 minutes into this flick, and it is pretty... Uh, there's a little dash of sleaze in there with uh, like what's going to happen next. Still another, another hour to go, so anything can happen. Excuse me. I've been drinking that beer, so it's coming up. Um, did get to... Uh, it's, it's actually in the player, so I did get on uh, Cinematic Maniacs about this on Facebook, and reliable sources kevin he told me that uh it's pretty weird among other among other uh peeps on there so um yeah um gonna finish this up tonight hopefully if i don't get too much uh super ghouls and ghosts you know crazy tonight but yeah it's it's I, i'm digging it man it's uh it's not too bad now this was brand new and uh i thought i might have to send it back because it did suffer from that loose disc jingle and when I opened it up, man, the disc was pretty fucked up. Scratched the shit. Luckily, it hasn't skipped yet, and it's playing flawlessly. Hopefully, it continues that way. Yes. So, yeah, crazy lips. Next up, it's Taxidermia. This is the UK edition. I had to go this route because I did own the US uh, release, which is now out of print. It goes for like 50 to 60 bucks. I, uh, you know, I did a trade with my homeboy Gary Kofi, aka Gaz, and I hooked him up with with uh, the U.S. release of this, and it's cool. It's all good, you know. What I mean, it was, a, it was a good trade. Now, I did want it back in the collection because it's such a fucking fucked up movie, man. It's so good. It's it's just so sick, twisted. You know what I mean? I needed that back in my life, so I went this route. Got it for like under like 12 bucks. So yeah, very happy to have it back in the collection. Such a fucked up good, like a, a, an anthology of sorts. All right, so now we're going to jump on to pit, uh, packages, gifts. I want to say packages and gifts at the same time. Shit I got from my brother. And he sent me this. And the brother is none other than Mr. Cinema Junkie. Yes. Yes. The man, the myth, the legend, Derek, he hooked me up with this puzzle. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it. Uh, you guys all know what's up. Yes, it's a pieces release. Man, so fucking awesome. I actually uh, woke up this morning, a day off today, and I fucking put this on. I did enjoy the, um, the alternate uh, Spanish soundtrack this time with uh, uh, done by um, Librado Pastor and... I also did the um, the Spanish uncut edition, which is 86 minutes, just a, three minutes longer than the the U.S. uncut edition. Uh, Mil gritos tiene la noche. Uh, it's it comes off a less less cheesier, in my opinion. Uh, I mean, I love the American uh, dub. I mean, it's it's fucking fantastic. I mean, especially with a bunch of friends, it's cheese fest. But I I, I want to experience it on Blu-ray on uh you know the the spanish uh speaking and uh just to with the with the librada pastor audio uh the you know the alternative soundtrack 
fantastic experience. Loved it so damn good. And yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna have fun with that because there is also a third uh, audio soundtrack, and I, I started it. I forgot who it's by, but it's the 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 film will. will there there won't be any audio like speaking. It's gonna be silent, but the um, the soundtrack it's fucking blazing. It's bumping, man. It's man. I want to get my my dance on, man. Anyways, so yeah, piece is fantastic, and he also hooked me up with murder set pieces. Now there's like three different cuts of this movie. There's a theatrical release, which is like a hundred plus minutes. The uncut, which is like ninety some minutes, and uh. The R-rated version, version, <laughs> version. Sorry, I had a couple too many today. Uh, which is you know like eighty some minutes. But this is the uncut, so it has all the gore. I mean, who knows? It's not the theatrical cut, but still, damn good. Uh, fucking awesome sequences in here. Uh, psh, better than watching the rated R version, in my opinion. But Murder Said Pieces, man, I loved it, man. It's it's a damn ride, man. Uh, fuck. The ending is fucking awesome as hell. And, um, yeah, you got some Tony Todd in there, some Serena Vincent at the end, and even some Gunnar Hansen, man. R.I.P., brother. I, I actually love this. I forgot what country this is from. Sweden, I believe. I don't know. But fucking so glad I got to see it in, in the uncut format. You know I mean? I, that's why I held off so long. I was like, no way I'm going to pick this up rated R. Fuck that shit. So thank you, Mr. Cinema Junkie, for pieces and murder said pieces. He hooked me up with the pieces theme going on there. Gotta love it, man. Gotta love it. All right, next up. Well, we'll get to this later. I got a package from my boy from Finland. All the way from sleazy Finland, Marco. I don't know your last name, and I won't say it because I don't want to butcher it. But y'all know Marco. Fucking awesome sleazy motherfucker out there. He hooked me up with an arrow. Necromantic. Sexy, sexy, sexy. I had to flip this over. He had the other cover. And I'm like, no. No way I'm, I'm going to let that slide, man. I got to flip this bitch over. Love that cover art. So fucking awesome. And then he threw in House by the Cemetery. Man, I own like all the Gates of Hell arrows now trilogy you know what i mean so very stoked to have this fucking awesome he also threw in life force i haven't seen this in years i still haven't got to this yet i, I know i said when i got this like on a demented domain that i was going to get to it right away sadly i did not but man it's up there it's it's up there it's gonna get a view soon vamp yep hook me up with vamp one I don't even have in the DVD collection, so very happy to own Vamp. I caught it on Netflix like a few years back, and I loved it. I mean, I've loved it back in the days, but yeah, Grace Jones, gotta love that shit. Then the master, Marco, also hooked me up with Demons. Man, so fucking hot. Look at that. Love it, love it, love it. Demons 2. More beautiful cover art. Man, these are fucking beautiful arrows. So there you go, man. The man hooked me up with Arrow Madness. I am not worthy. I am not worthy. They're going to go to my little sparse arrow collection, like up there next to Society and Bazimwa and whatever. But he also hooked me up with some porn. I can't show the covers to these, sadly. But uh, Spermageddon Part 2. Stat Fingat Six. I'm just kidding. That's not probably even German. I'm just teasing. And drank ice sperma. Now that one's fucking awesome. It has like a chick getting like sperm to the face. Let me show like her. I won't show like the nudity part, but yeah, there you go. Ah, uh, got to keep it sleazy. You know what I'm talking about? All right, guys. So that's it for all the like the physical media, and it was fucking awesome. Thank you guys so much. Derek, Marco, <sighs> love you guys, man. It's not over, man. We have Prince from the Master, David Koenig, a.k.a. Fiend on Film. He hooked me up with a 
print of Miss 45. These are all limited too. They're all signed. So these are fucking like originals, man. By, well, you know what I mean. You know, original prints by him. So yeah, Revenge, Sealed with a Kiss, Miss 45. If you guys all seen the, my new Facebook profile, uh, I got fucking, uh, you know, the whole Miss 45 nun outfit with the gun. I love that scene. Oh, man, I love this movie. So fucking awesome. Anyways, uh, Mask of the Red Death. Been some price right there. Some Corman, yo. Some old school right here. Homicidal. I, you know, I love his, uh, the way he uh, throws down with the old school. Castle film right there. And there's his, uh, his little company right there. Finis. 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 There's a little sideways action right here. These are all fucking like great quality. Highly recommend you guys check it out. And if I don't forget, I'll put the link down to his shit uh, in the description. But like I said, man, these are all personalized. All, you know, I mean, numbered, limited edition runs. Now, here we go to the my favorite one. I mean, I love the Miss 45, but this is my favorite one by far. Here's Imprint by Takashi Miike. Just awesome, awesome, awesome. I love Imprint. I love Takashi Miike. You guys all know that. I'm a fucking big, big ass fan. There he is in the top left. Always looking at me. Love you, Miike. Anyways, uh, let's jump on to some Twins of Evil. Now, this is one, regretfully, I have not seen that I want to see. Uh, been wanting to pick up that Synops edition for the longest time. And, um, man, it was like back when Vampire Circus first came out on Synops, the Blu-ray DVD edition. And... Yeah, this fucking chick, she kind of like stole my heart and I hooked her up. I just gave her my, my Vampire Circus and then I put this in the back burner and I completely forgot. So I got to start my Hammer Synops uh, collection going again, which I think they've only released three or four. I could be wrong, but I'm going to start with Vampire Circus and then jump to Twins of Evil. So yes, very, very awesome. Awesome, awesome. And he, th he threw in some, some knickknacks in here. Uh, this is pretty cool right here. I love I love skulls. You guys all know that. Got the skulls over there, right there. Bam. Midnight Crawler. R.I.P. to the mask. But, yeah, I got I got one of these going out to my, my, my friends, Lydia and James. Um, some more goodies here. Yep. I don't even know what that... I've never even seen that movie, but I like I like that style. Some stickers. I'm going to cut these out, pass them out in packages. When, you know I mean? When you get my goodies. Uh bam there you go some dragon con goodness i know he, he he does a lot of conventions hopefully i see him at texas frightmare weekend this year it's uh in like two months less than two months and there is the uh the sick bastard himself the one of the sleaziest motherfuckers i've ever met in my life no i'm just kidding i know <laughs> fiend on film fiend on stink fiend on filth fiend on sleaze fiend on footlong there he is the mass the maestro and uh, that's going to be it, guys, for a Demented Corner. I have so much more coming, and I'm glad to be back on YouTube. Like, coming with content a lot more regularly. Regularly. Anyways, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, man. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for being a subscriber. Let me suck your dick a little bit more, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Peace.